Hey everyone, it's Jody here, your Wednesday host for Self Teammate. I'm glad to be back this week. I apologize, I'm getting my video up a little bit later than I anticipated for Wednesday, but let's go ahead and jump into this week's topic, which is bathrooms. Um, I'm not really too sure what to say about bathrooms. Um, outside the fact is that um, there seems to be a very irrational fear of trans people in bathrooms. Now, with that being said, the simple fact of the matter is that the fear comes around trans women. Um, you hear tons and tons of people, especially on like the conservative side of the spectrum, saying that men are going to start dressing up as women, claiming to be trans, and then they're going to sexually assault women. And you don't really hear a whole lot about trans men assaulting people in the men's bathroom. And I think that the reason why that is is because in our society, we are very um, male privilege. We're very um, male orientated society where men have most of the power. And so it's kind of unfathomable that a man would identify as a woman and then transition into a woman because they're losing a lot in the process. And so we have that going on. And then on top of people not really understanding the idea of being trans. But it, I think that it mostly comes from the fact that people just can't kind of wrap their head around that there are people that were born male and identify as women. And so then they transition into women. Like, that just blows people's mind. Like, who would want to give up all the benefits of being a man, right? But we can totally understand why... Um, somebody that was born a female that identified that would want to transition into a man. Like, that that's not the problem. The problem is trans women in the bathroom. And so, I find this very problematic and I think it's just ridiculous because my argument is if men wanted to go in to a female bathroom, female public bathroom, um, and assault somebody, they could do it regardless if they're dressed up as a woman or not. And if somebody wanted to assault a female, a male identifying individual, or perceived identifying individual, um, wanted to dress up as a woman and go into the female bathroom and assault somebody, that could happen. I'm saying this couldn't happen. I find that very highly unlikely. And the reason why I find this very highly unlikely is that people that do that commit sexual assaults in public, they typically are very opportunistic individuals. They don't methodically plan their assaults out. Some do, majority don't. Science has already said this. Um, and they want to be able to get in and get out without being noticed. So if you have somebody that isn't, that doesn't identify as a female, and they are in female women's attire, they're going to be very uncomfortable, it's going to look really awkward, and people are going to remember them. And the how people get away with sexually assaulting people in public is, especially if they're strangers randomly doing this act because they see an opportunity and they're taking it, they want to go as unnoticeable as possible. That way, they're not remembered, and they just like look like another face in the crowd. So that's my thought on this. Um... And so, with that being said, um, I don't really, I think that, you know, in a house, we shouldn't, we don't separate bathrooms, and so I don't really think there's really a need to be worried about public bathrooms, specifically about people getting assaulted, because people are already uncomfortable in the bathroom, especially if they I, are underneath the trans umbrella, and so... I don't want to spend any time, any more time in the bathroom than I have to in public, and I've been, I pass 100% of the time, like nobody ever blinks an eye at me, and so I can only imagine what trans women are like fearing when they go into the bathroom and how they're feeling very anxious and very nervous about even being confronted um, with like verbal, if we were to put them in a men's bathroom, there's more likely to be physical violence. And so I'm pretty sure trans women feel the exact same way that I feel, where they don't want to spend 
an extended amount of time in the bathroom. They want to get in and get out, and then that's it. That's it. And who cares what people are doing in stalls in the female's bathroom? They're stalls. So who cares? Unless you want to be the creeper to sit there and watch somebody go to the bathroom. And I think that that's more creepy than trans people going into the public bathroom and going to the bathroom. The person that wants to be in that space to, to like, sit, like figure out your genitalia is way creepier than just going to the bathroom and being done with it. So, I'm going to end this video here. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'm leaving this pretty standard, open, randomly generalized view of how I see trans people in the bathroom. So, please hit me up, and otherwise I will see you guys next Wednesday. Peace.